We're going to take a look at the new render resource viewer. Now, uh, just keep in mind this, as you can see, let me take a, let's take a quick look that this is a build. I built this from the source code. And so this is a build from 5.2, which at the time of this video, it isn't released yet. This feature may or may not make it, may or may not make it in the, the final 5.2 release. But let's just take a look at it real quick. And if you go to tools, you will see render resource viewer and let's click that. And as you can see, I have it docked down here and as you can see, a little over a thousand resources, total size, uh, 2,600 megabytes. And up here, you can see this the filter by flags, transient streaming, ray uh, render target, depth stencil, unordered access view, ray tracing, acceleration structure, and none. You can just refresh that and you can see it changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, uh, I'm going to keep adding, I'm just going to add stuff to this scene and we can take a look at it, see what changes. So let's add some lights, directional lights, skylight, post-processing volume, sky atmosphere, volumetric clouds, exponential height fog, sphere reflection capture. And let's add a cube. All right. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff in this scene. Kind of looks like the default scene. And I'm going to hit refresh and let's take a look at it right down here. And as you can see, that pretty much nearly or pretty much doubled. And you can see the resources by name. You can sort it by type. It's buffer. It's a lot of buffers. Texture. It's buffers and textures. Sort it by size. And you can see almost uh, 100, uh, 512 megabytes. That's coming from this shadow virtual physical page pool. And we can also sort this by flags. And the owner, and it looks like that just gives you the directory.